Hello and welcome to Aquarius Rising Tarot. My name is Charity and this message is for Gemini. It's going to be a you and them love reading for the month of October. So I'm going to have your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This is someone that you are connected to energetically, romantically, someone that you are thinking about and someone who is thinking about you. So I want to thank all of you who have liked and subscribed, donated, ordered personal readings. You all make it possible for me to do this. I appreciate you. My family appreciates you. So thank you so much. So let's get into this. What is the heart of the matter for how Gemini is feeling about this connection? What is the heart of the matter? What is the heart of the matter? What are some things happening in the daily life that might be affecting this connection? What are some things happening in the daily life? In the heart space. What are some intentions Gemini might take? Hmm. A potential outcome. Potential outcome. Wow. Okay. Now let's get the cards for a Gemini's person. We'll get into this. What is the heart of the matter for the person connected to Gemini? Some things going on in the daily life, in the daily life. Whoa. In the heart space, how is your person feeling? intentions. A lot of pages here. A lot of new beginning energy. And a potential outcome. Wow, Gemini. You are showing up. Okay, let's get started. For the heart of the matter, Gemini, you have the three of wands. This is, could be message, could be someone showing up, something kind of taking you by surprise, someone coming forward, something that you have been waiting for, hoping for, looking forward to for quite some time could be coming through now. This is something that you've put your time into, you've put your energy into, and something that you were waiting for with like a positive expectation is showing up. It's so close, you can see it. So Aries Leo Sagittarius energy could be significant here, but you are right on the verge of something. And this is something that I feel like you've put some time and thought into this. But I definitely feel like someone is showing up for you, Gemini. For your person, we've got the King of Swords. That is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This is someone who is feeling like they are your person. This is a match for a Gemini. You could be dealing with another air sign or this could be how the person is feeling. And it has a lot to do with thought, focus, clarity, determination. I feel like someone just knows, knows that you're it. You're the one that they want to be with. And you are definitely on someone's mind, like 100%. I just have to say that. In your daily life, you've got the page of wands. You could be starting new work, new field of study, new beginnings. There is communication and desire to reach out and talk to someone. It feels light. It feels like you don't want to necessarily dive deep into something, but there's a very positive energy of wanting to know what can happen and just sort of putting yourself out there for a potential new start. So could be in this connection, could be in your daily life, could be in both. But you're feeling excited about something or someone. That's, I mean, the wands are about passion and interest, creativity. Could be doing something creative in your daily life. Your person has the Knight of Pentacles. Virgo, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn energy could be significant here. But there's definitely a desire. You are on someone's mind in a big way. There's a desire to move towards the connection, but I see a lot of still energy here. Everyone is kind of standing or sitting. 
there isn't anyone running forward. So we are gonna pull clarifiers on all of this to get a little more details, but someone is steadily coming towards you, thinking of you all the time. They could be doing some different things, um, making some changes in their work or working on things to get them a little more established and that sort of thing with the Knight of Pentacles showing up in their daily life. They could be thinking about you a lot and maybe throwing themselves into their work as well, just because I don't see either of you moving, but in your potential outcome, you're gonna see there's some pretty exciting cards. There is a connection here. You are coming towards one another. In your heart space, you both have swords. So I just feel like these are two people that might be thinking about one another a lot, but maybe haven't quite taken any move, moves forward yet. You've got the eight of swords in your heart space, which means you, in your mind, you might be kind of going around in circles or something, feeling like you're possibly stuck in a certain situation, not really sure how to move forward. But with the swords, it's all thoughts. We're never stuck except in our minds. It's It can be going around in your head over and over, but not really knowing how to move forward or what to say. There can be a little fear involved with the Eight of Swords, like feeling if you do move forward, you might make the wrong choice, you might not do something quite right. And so even though this woman is perfectly capable of just releasing the very loose ties, very loose blindfold, swords are open, very capable of walking right out of this situation, whatever it is that you may feel stuck in, you're still kind of going around in circles in your mind. And, and I'm looking forward to getting a clarifier because I feel like something has to be on your mind in a pretty big way to be giving it so much thought. You've got more swords energy here too, we'll get into in a minute, but there's definitely something you're thinking about. Definitely something I feel like you want to move towards, but you just might not be sure how. Your person has the page of swords in their heart space. They are definitely thinking about you. They might check your social media, ask around about you occasionally. It feels very positive. It feels very, um, this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. It feels very hopeful. It feels like a desire for a fresh start in communication. I don't see anyone running in though. This is, I feel like someone might, is thinking about you a lot and likes talking to you, enjoys talking to you, enjoys sharing just thoughts and information. And because with all these swords, how you're, how you're thinking about one another, I feel like they just enjoy talking to you. They get excited being around you. But we're still sort of more in this thought energy than in this forward movement. It's like they're kind of doing their homework and biding their time and, and wanting and thinking about how to honestly make this happen because in their intentions, we do have the page of pentacles. That is someone that stops, steps forward with an offer. That's someone that wants to see you, wants to be together in the physical, wants, but both of you being in this page energy so it's if, if you're to come together, if this isn't someone entirely new that you're meeting, if you are to come together, there's got to be something fresh. There's got to be something new. I feel like you both kind of want to put the past behind you and see how things can go. In your intentions, you have the emperor here. Divine masculine energy. Aries could also be significant. Oh, and then we have more Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. You're absolutely focused about on something. And there is something that you want to do, something that you maybe want to see happen or make maybe more concrete with the, the emperor is a four and the fours are all about bringing order, bringing things into existence, bringing things out of the area of thought into the physical realm. I feel like you are wanting to move towards something or someone but i have to say there's some stubborn energy here with the emperor and the king of swords these are two that energies that can both be a little bit just stubborn almost like who's going to make this first move i want a fresh start i want something to happen this is exciting but but 
nobody's nobody's really moving forward yet and what i'm not seeing and we're going to see if we see this in the clarifiers is a lot of cups there is a lot of feeling here passion interest communication thought and we have some major love cards here in the outcome that i will show to you but i'm not seeing anyone really opening up their emotions letting themselves really feel their way through this it's almost like they're trying to navigate both of you with your thoughts somehow to be practical, to think this through, to plan this. And love comes from the heart. Sometimes you just have to be spontaneous and do something that you never would have expected you would do and just see where it can go. So somebody's going to make a move here with all these pages. I do feel like there is a new beginning in communication, but you've got pages on both sides. It really could be either one of you. We'll find out more with the clarifiers. So, but in your person's potential outcome, we have the judgment card. We have the nine of pentacles and we have the lovers here. First of all, with both of these angels showing up and guiding these two, this is feeling like a powerful connection. Gemini energy here. So you are absolutely this person's desired outcome. You are the one that they want to be with. With them showing up in this kind of nine of pentacles energy, this is someone that has kind of found their way on their own. That's why I feel like the two of you, I'm not sure if you're really talking or you could be newly talking or recently reconnected, but your person is kind of feeling a, a little on their own as far as this connection. They're not necessarily feeling bad about that. There's something very patient about this person and something about how that they know when the time is right, they are gonna make this decision. And I feel like nothing is going to hold the two of you back from being together. I also feel like your person might be seeing a lot of signs, synchronicities, things like that. Maybe like numbers, 1111, that sort of thing. Because with these angels here calling and guiding these two, I feel like they might be seeing your name or thinking of you. But the universe keeps revealing you to them over and over because there's something major. There's something special about this connection. There's something different about this. And spirit is going to make this happen, honestly. That's the way that I see this. Because your person is here. They're in this energy of finding how to be good on their own, how to have that confidence. But I feel like it has a lot to do with also having something to offer. And no matter what they do with the Knight of Pentacles, this person is always moving towards you. Even if they're not really coming right out with it, they're always moving towards you. So for you, you have the Nine of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. Interestingly enough, you are wrapping up a cycle and they've got the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you might be wrapping up a time of being single. These are all very single, very solitary cards here. But with your final outcome being the lovers and the four of wands, two people that may have been kind of going through some things on their own, finding some uh, their way on their own, could be coming together very soon in a big way. You are going through some things here. With the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Wands, I feel like you've been through some challenges. You've probably had some relationships that you hoped would go a certain way and maybe they didn't work out and it's left you a little guarded. It's it's This is the Wounded Warrior card and this is the Anxiety card. And so there's interest because these are wands and they're wands of passion, they're wands of interest. This is the Ace of Wands in this person's hand, this desire to communicate. You're interested in someone and clearly thinking about them, but there's a part of you that is still a little guarded. It's almost like it's hard for you to imagine this Four of Wands is possible. Do you have the Fours showing up twice with the Emperor and a lot of fire energy here? Um, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy and then more Gemini Libra Aquarius. Um, with the Fours showing up, that can mean that something is coming together, that two people that have been thinking about one another a lot, but maybe haven't said it, are going to decide to make a move, to take a step, to, to move forward, to see where things can go, to talk about taking things to the next level, or just seeing someone again if you haven't seen each other in a little bit. We do have some major arcana here, and if 
you do resonate with a twin flame or divine soulmate connection, something like that. This could very well be two people that have been in separation, but movement is happening. And it's possible this could have been a long time coming, but this movement is happening. It feels slow, but it's 100% coming together. And you feel the same about one another. You both want this. So let's get into these clarifiers. So why do we have the Three of Wands for how Gemini is feeling about their person? Why do we have the Three of Wands? Eight of Swords, once again, for some reason, something's got you up in your head and feeling like maybe you can't make a move towards this person. These are all thoughts and it might be time to just kind of get out of your mind and get out of your head and take a leap. I know in... <laughs> I'm delivering these readings late and I will tell you straight up, it's because a lot of stuff has been going on in my personal life and I can hardly keep up. And I keep telling my friends and my family and everyone around me, I've got to go work. I got to go make my videos, guys. I got to go make my videos. And then somebody's like, oh, go do this or do that or do that, you know. And, um, and I have to tell you, in general, I'm kind of a solitary person. And besides hanging out with my kids and stuff, people tend to just kind of let me do my thing and I let them do their thing. And all of a sudden, all this has been happening. But I know what it is. It's me. I was in this eight of swords energy for a really long time, kind of stuck up in my head, stuck in my thoughts, processing some things, dealing with some old wounds, dealing with some, you know, just failed relationships and difficult things that I just didn't know how to move forward or what to do. And something shifted in me and I just, I don't know, I just busted out. I just like ripped off that blindfold and those like, you know, just the whatever it is, it was holding me back. and. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna take a step. I'm gonna I'm gonna open up. I'm gonna talk to some people that have been on my mind, and I'm just not even gonna think about the outcome. I'm just gonna see what happens. And boy, it's been fun. It's been exciting. Everything's been very different than I thought it would be. It's and I feel like that could be the case for you. I feel like you might be waiting for something, but with this page of wands, there's a part of you that doesn't want to wait, just wants to go for it. And I would say if you're feeling that way, I would say just do it and don't think too hard about it because life is happening now and we're here to live and enjoy and have fun. And if you feel a little stuck in your mind, don't beat yourself up for, it, for that. We all get stuck up in our heads sometimes, but... Think about what you really want, what you really desire, because something is on your mind here. There's something you want to move towards. And I do feel like there's somebody out there that has very strong feelings for you. And you know that, and you're aware of that. And I feel like the two of you could make something incredible happen. Somebody's got to make this move here. So let's get some more clarifiers and maybe see. Interesting. King of Swords, and I thought I had put all these upright, but this one came out in reverse. King of Swords is clarified by the Four of Swords in reverse. Very interesting. I just was saying that somebody needs to make a move. Four of Swords upright is someone who is quiet. They are meditating. They are going through a time of healing. In the traditional tarot, it's the person that's kind of laid down in the... <laughs> Let's see if I can just grab that one and show it to you. It's easier than describing it. But the Four of Swords comes right after the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is a heartbreak. And so with the Four of Swords, it's like you've laid down your swords and you're taking the time to heal from that heartbreak that you've released. And it's possible that someone's been missing you. Someone feels far from you. Someone is thinking about you. But something is happening. It's like this. Okay, this is the Four of Swords here. Someone took some time, maybe took some time out to do some healing and to do some thinking. But now with the Four of Swords in reverse, they're ready to get up and move forward. This is the Ace of Swords here. It's like they've hung that Three of Swords on the wall. They're releasing that heartbreak. They're releasing the old hearts. They've got that Ace of Swords here, like right here. And what they're ready to do is get up and pick up that Ace of Swords and communicate. Someone could be coming forward to tell you that they're feeling the lovers like they're feeling like you're the one 
This is interesting, Gemini. I feel like the reading started out a little tame. I have to tell you, every reading that I do, I sit down and the energy is so different. And I sat down with the Gemini energy, which is funny because I had just been hanging out with Gemini, like right before I did this reading. And they were kind of in this mellow mood and repotting plants and doing little practical things. It's really funny. And um, getting ready to go do an oil change, just these like daily life things. And we're chit-chatting about things, you know, and, um, and I can't in here to do the reading and it just felt so like yeah well I I like this person a lot but I've got some things on my mind like it felt so chill but I have to tell you the energy is picking up it's it's moving around here so page of wands why do we have the page of wands knight of wands yes energy is definitely moving you know how i said that everybody's kind of standing still i feel it like i feel this shift with this person being the four of swords in reverse they're ready to get up they're ready to communicate they've done some healing and i feel like they miss you um even i when i say somebody is missing you and i feel like i need to clarify this does not necessarily have to mean this is someone from the past it can it's different from you for each person you know who's on your mind you know who you're thinking about but someone can miss you that you've never even met yet. I know before I met my person, the person that I love more than anyone that I have ever loved, I missed them my whole life. And when I met them, it was like, there you are, you know? So you can miss someone you haven't met yet. So just because I say someone's missing you doesn't necessarily mean this is an old connection. You have to go with your heart. You know what this, your connection is. But anyway, Page of Wands being clarified by the Knight of Wands. I do feel like you're interested in someone. You might even be the one making this move, or this could very much be someone coming towards you. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy doesn't have to be that sign, but it's something, someone that's feeling excited, passionate, um, wants to communicate, wants to move things forward, wants to see things happen. So could be very much you going towards them the way that this is facing the other person's cards, but it could be someone showing up for you as well. So you're gonna have to take that how it resonates. Okay, why do we have the Knight of Pentacles for your person in their daily life? Why do we have the Knight of Pentacles? The sun, look at that, Leo energy could be significant, summertime could be significant. Someone, no matter what else they're going through, and I do feel like this person had some healing to do. I do feel like they've been thinking about you a lot. I don't know if the two of you are talking, but the Knight of Pentacles is being clarified by the sun. No matter what has been happening in this person's life, and like I said, it could be someone you know or someone you never met, they have been steadily moving towards you for a long time, regardless of everything else, because you are the sun for them. You are happiness for them, fun and playfulness. And it's something you need. That's another thing that I kind of realized in my life. I had gotten very serious and I didn't mean to. Like, I mean, I goof around with my kids and close friends and stuff like that. But when it came to my love life, I've gotten like really serious. <laughs> I was thinking too much and and sometimes the sun will show up when it's like just have some fun chill the fuck out just chill out and life can really surprise you with warmth and fun and playfulness and delight and wonder interesting words they're giving me not words i ever use but something something is happening there and i just saw two three 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 two three 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 something is shifting okay why do we got this eight of swords here it's showed up twice gemini why do we got this eight of swords here what is going on page of pentacles you both have the page of pentacles boy the two of you thinking all night and all day about how to talk to one another i feel like with this page of pentacles is a little bit standing on your person's side and this page of pentacles is taking a step forward Whatever the case is, you're breaking out of this energy. You're getting out of your head, and that's beautiful because the answer, it is in your heart. It ultimately is, and I know that's not always easy for those of us that tend to think more than feel. It's Sometimes it's hard to get out of your head and just take a leap with your heart, but I do feel like you're longing to see someone and to see them face-to-face, -face, and they're longing to see you with all these pentacles. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here with um someone that you're definitely thinking about i do feel like there's a desire on both sides to make this move okay 
Why does your person have the Page of Swords in their heart space? Why do they have the Page of Swords? Transition. Death card in the traditional tarot. They might feel... There's a few things I'm getting from this. For some, they're... They might feel like this, like this is over and they aren't really sure how you're feeling and they're desiring to know if there is still something to this with the page of swords, like desiring to know, is it really over? Is there a chance? Is there potential here? Also could be dealing with a Scorpio um, or somebody with strong Scorpio in their chart. But what I'm feeling like here is that something is shifting and something is changing. And since this is the Page of Swords being clarified by the death card, this is traditionally the death card, what I'm really feeling like is they would like an end to this feeling of being on the outside looking in. They want to because their intention is the Page of Pentacles to move towards you, to actually see you, to talk about you. If this is someone that you're in separation from, it's like they're tired of just thinking about you. They want to see you. They want to be there. So someone is definitely wanting to wanting to see you. I'm going to go ahead and pull one more clarifier on that just because I got a few different things going on there. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. I needed a little more information and we have the three of pentacles showing up here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This person is kind of tired of being on the outside looking in. If this is someone that you know, but maybe haven't maybe seen in a little bit, they do want to end that cycle of just thinking about you. And they actually want to collaborate, talk, be together, see you. So if this person has been going through some things and processing some things and working through some things, what they've really realized is that you are the one that makes them happy. If the two of you have been separated or if you've been talking to someone, one or two of you have both gotten quiet, in whatever time apart and time of healing that you've been going through, they've realized you are their happiness. And with this Three of Pentacles, they want to see you. They want to, they want to collaborate. They want to talk. And Pentacles are all about getting together. So why do we have this Emperor for you and your intentions, Gemini? Why do we have this Emperor here? Wow. You, boy, you too. You're missing each other. You've got the Five of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. You are also thinking about your person. Like this might be two people that haven't, that have quite a connection. I mean, this connection feels powerful, but may have separated for some reason. And you're both like looking at each other's social media or whatever. You're both asking around about one another, both thinking about one another, both missing each other. That's because this, there's a lot of mirroring en energy here. And both of you are desiring this fresh start. If you're feeling out in the cold, if you're feeling far from someone, if you're feeling like you're missing someone, I do feel like with this emperor being clarified by the Page of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, you do feel like this person is is the one like there is something very significant about this connection but i'm not sure if you really know how to move forward towards them but you've not let go that's for certain so why do we have the page of pentacles here why do we have the page of pentacles six yeah oh gosh six of wands and temperance it's like this person first of all all these signs are showing up for the the two of you, all of these signs are showing up that, and because you're being guided, your person is really being guided, like by divine towards you. They're seeing signs of you everywhere. With the temperance, it's all about timing. It's all about knowing that things are being balanced. With the six of wands, this is someone returning home after a battle. It's someone returning to someone that they love. I feel like that song, and it's so old, but you know, I'm <laughs> um, it's from the 90s, which was, you know, oh, I'm 
It's like my teenage years. Um, the Sundays, wild horses couldn't keep me away. When I saw these cards, I thought about that because it's like with the temperance card, when the moment is right, with the six of wands, nothing is gonna stop this person from coming towards you. The two of you are coming together. It's like you're moving towards each other. Both of you thinking about one another all the time, but you're steadily moving towards each other, but I don't know that either of you even realize it's happening. So... Why do we have this Nine of Swords and Nine of Wands here for you? Why do we have this Nine of Swords and Nine of Wands? Why do we have the Nine of Swords and Nine of Wands? I was waiting for some cups to come out. <laughs> you know, I said we've got a lot of thought energy, some definite love, some desire to be together, um, passion for sure. Hadn't seen any cups yet, but here they are. You've got the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Energy, and the Four of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The reason why you are going through possibly some overthinking, having some anxiety, feeling a little unsure, is because you really do have feelings for someone. Someone has feelings for you. With the Queen of Cups, this is a very, very powerful love card, possibly one of the most powerful love cards in the whole tarot because the Queen of Cups shows up. She trusts her intuition. She loves, and when I say she, this can be masculine or feminine energy, but it is someone coming from that that feminine energy of, of love where, where is there, it's like an accepting of the feelings and not hiding from them and letting yourself feel and that's what's going to break you out of this this tough energy here this anxious energy or this kind of exhausted sort of stress um, energy what's going to really get you out of that is going all the way into this heart space and letting yourself feel because you have been holding on you have been holding on to someone and someone is holding on to you with this four of pentacles and there is absolute love here. So why do we have the Four of Wands? Why do we have the Four of Wands here as your final card? Why do we have the Four of Wands? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. You are definitely missing someone that... That is showing up for you. Sorry, I got really quiet. It just kind of, I don't know, with this Queen of Cups and the King of Pentacles, it's like you open up your heart and just let yourself feel with this Queen of Cups energy. This person shows up. There's no holding back. The Pentacles is all about getting together, being in the, being together in the physical. It's about nurturing one another. It's about talking and showing up and being there. And this person might be in this Knight of Pentacles energy kind of moving sort of slowly, but the King of Pentacles shows up all the way. And there is potential here as far as taking things to the next level, but it really has a lot to do with you just opening up your heart and getting into your heart space. I mean, let, let, just letting yourself feel that love and don't overthink it. So why do we have the judgment card for your person? Two of cups. Okay, this is where the cups finally come in for both of you. I love this. This energy is it's turning around completely. With the judgment being clarified by the Two of Cups, someone is making a decision for you. They feel like you are their person and you two are feeling the same about one another. I mean, if you are not talking about it, both of you are feeling it. Because look at this, in the final outcome, Four of Wands, the Lovers, and the Two of Cups, whatever the two of you are going through, whatever it is you need to heal from, whatever this process is, just let yourself feel because there is, there is love here. There is potential here. Someone wants to take it to the next level with you. I have to say that. And it's this nine of pentacles person, this person that 
has gone through some healing, is learning to be good on their own, but honestly, ultimately, I feel like it's going to be showing up for you like the King of Pentacles coming in all the way, showing up all the way, wanting to really be there for you and with you. So why do we have the nine? <laughs> nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, okay. Someone is making a move. I have to just, <laughs> I have to just laugh because I feel like I saw so much kind of stubborn energy at the beginning of this. Like no one was going to, all these feelings are here. No one's going to say it, but someone's definitely making a move, Gemini. And this is very romantic. It's very sweet. Someone, I mean, someone feels like you were their person, no matter what. No matter what the two of you have been through together or apart, they feel like you're their person. I feel like someone could very much come forward and tell you just how they feel. So for our final card, why do we have the lovers here? Why do we have the lovers here? Three of Cups. Because somebody wants to marry you. <laughs> Okay, not all of us are all about marriage. I know it's not, it's not like necessarily my priority. I am my I'm so much more interested in just having a balanced, fun relationship where people can just talk and communicate and respect each other's face and be there together and have good times and be on their own when they need to be on their own, you know. And just I love a lasting long-term monogamous relationship with mutual respect it doesn't necessarily have to be marriage but when I saw this three of cups I thought about a wedding I just have to say especially when it's clarifying the lovers but what I'm really seeing is that someone is going to come towards you or you're going to go towards them it could go either way you have to trust your feelings on that but they might come forward in friendship they might come forward because the three of cups is all about is all about friendship What's really on their mind, I have to say, is feelings of love, wanting to be together. But they might just ask to get together, see you in a group, get together as friends, that sort of thing. But there's a lot more behind it. There's a lot of feeling here, and I feel like it's on both sides. So I love it. That is what I have for you, Gemini. This reading went a little longer than I planned. I'm trying to keep these around 30 minutes, but... There was a lot unfolding in this reading and I just had to let it happen. So I love it. If you enjoyed it, I'd love if you put a like on it. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love if you would. If something resonated, because you all know these are general readings. Some is going to be for you. Some might be for someone else. You have to take what's yours. What feels right, what makes you happy, that's yours. If something resonated and you want to look a little more closely into your specific connection, I have lots of reading options on my website. And I've shifted some things up. The shorter readings I'm delivering within three days. I've never done that before. I've always taken a week. But I'm doing that at least through October. I've, um, I'll be delivering readings a little bit faster just because I have so much. So much has been happening in my personal, personal life. It's easier just to just to get these readings right out and and, um, and keep going. So anyway, if you're interested, my details are in the description box below. Love connecting with you all, and I'll talk to you soon.